the Russian whistleblower risking it all to expose the scale of an Arctic oil spill catastrophe. Norilsk is hell on earth. If it's the spill I'm remembering, it isn't oil, it's processed fuel. Which is much, much worse. From the article. We were a few kilometers from the Siberian city of Norilsk, where six weeks ago a huge fuel tank at a power plant ruptured, spilling thousands of tons of diesel into the river. I think it's important to note here that, according to the article, the company accepted responsibility for the spill and that they are paying the equivalent of $140 million in cleanup costs. In addition, the article ends by stating that the company responsible has been fined $2 billion for the spill having taken place. Some people may not have read to the end of the article to have learned the outcome here. Whistleblowers are the present-day reformists who deserve their due. Instead what do they get, death threats, some have to leave countries. Fellas, this article is about the first spill. There was a second spill yesterday, Sunday, 12th of July. Also fuel. I'm starting to get Chernobyl vibes. I swear I saw this exact post yesterday. This is why building and environmental codes require containment bunkers around tanks. Tank fails, containment fills up, pumper truck comes and sucks out the containment. Whistleblower trips and falls out of window. Snowden. Oh wait. We hate him. 2020 has been one cluster fuck after another. Haha, <laughs> we will fuck this planet just feeling how far can we go until it fucks us all back. Humans don't seem to understand that we are not destroying the environment, the earth doesn't care what we do to it, the organisms don't revolt against extinction the planet will still be here. But one day when the famine strikes and when the storms destroy the indestructible we will all wake up on a planet that don't tea welcome us anymore. We are talking about making other planets Earth-like while trying our hardest at making this one alien. Fuck humanity, every day we make ourselves less worthy of survival. Did you have an ecological disaster from an oil spill on your 2020 bingo card? If so congrats, the world is going to hell in a handbasket. Too bad he got the unfortunate family disease of having his stomach ripped open by a polar bear. It's like this in a lot of northern communities with big industry, they all but own the town and the people who live there so barely anything can be done about the injustice and negligence being carried out. It's sick and just one of the many reasons we're screwed as a species. There are some truly brave whistleblowers out there, they should be lauded and applauded, but too often they are scapegoated and criminalized. Politicians exposed should pay the price, not the whistleblower. Crime against humanity. Didn't they also just have a huge copper spill? Please protect this guy. In the far north oil leaks tend to cause anomalous growth spurts in fish and plants. It's likely not a good thing. Still some of the isolated lakes have absolutely ancient skinny fish. Lack of oil and fat to support the food chain makes for some very old very small fish. If we ever meet extraterrestrial life, they're going to classify humanity as a universal virus. No one is gonna give two shits about this. Just like that coal mine in India that has been burning underground for 100 years. HTTPS colon slash slash energy. Economic Times. India Times. Com slash news slash coal slash Indian coal mines still burning after a century slash 71990666. I think we've reached the tipping point of human sustainability on planet Earth, it's going to be a very interesting and miserable couple of years before we all finally die off or blast off to Mars with Elon. That shit is being reported all over the place. Kinda hard to blow a whistle on something that is not really hidden. Also Nornickel didn't say that damage is removed, they only finished the first stage and still have to clean water and soil. That will take time. So sad that hell die by suicide with two bullets in the back of his head crying face loudly crying face, when I google this nothing comes up, which worries me more. That and China taking over the us in the next 20 or less years. Engineer here with agricultural friends and farmers, problem, oil in water. Solution, mass planting of diverse hyperaccumulators for oil spills. https colon slash slash en. M. 
Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash list underscore of underscore hyperaccumulators. Someone get me a drone slash Cessna, seed sower, and one million seeds. That's crazy it looks like blood. The river turned to blood. Almost biblical. I can't look I'm already too depressed. It's 38 degrees in Siberia. Nornikal even managed to piss off Putin. Someone's getting a permanent Siberian vacation. Is this whistleblower still alive? Has he been poisoned by radioactive substance yet? Damn Russians. How have I not heard about this before? FKN Russia. Russian also using floating nuclear power stations in that area. I was waiting for July's 2020 bingo. Just got it, looking forward to what August's will be. Slash S. But human hair will clean that up it's been tested that it works. This post has way less comments than it should with so many upvotes, looks pretty suspicious tbh. Make a video game about this shit, get it known. God, this makes me sad. He should be careful with the next teacup he drinks. Those in Russia who reveal facts are always at high risk. Heroes. Captain Planet would be so proud. Is this a recent event? Just curious. Reddit has taught me not to trust Russia. So this spill is fake. Why it should need an whistleblower? It's known for months now, rip whistleblower. Another one bites the dust. Putin's brain. You call that an oil spill? That's an oil dribble. You would think those morons would learn from Chernobyl. This was posted a few days ago, was it not? Why is it posted again? Risking it all? That oil must be the Ussi. Seeing other articles compare it to the Exxon Valdez spill is chilling. Everything is a lie. Nothing means anything. Eat all the steak you want, throw away anything anywhere. Who the fuck cares? Who is a whistleblower? He's gonna get thrown fall out of a fifth-story building like all those doctors who blew the whistle on Russia's coronavirus cases did.